Now, um, in this section, what we're going to do is we're kind of going to look at putting um, different types of financial formulas together in one kind of problem. Um, really, probably the one of the more common sort of situations that you would do is if you were trying to come up with a retirement plan, doing some sort of retirement planning. Um, say, for example, that you are 35 years old and you're expecting to work for 30 more years until you get to be 65. Um, based on, and, and while you're working for 30 years, you'd like to be able to um, contribute money towards your retirement. So you'd like to start some sort of a savings plan. Ideally, um, what we want to do is we want to figure out how much money we'd have to put into savings every month. We're trying to figure out how much we want to save. Um, how do you figure out how much you want to save? Well, you're going to have to figure out how much you want to spend. Um, if I live to be 65 years old and based on how long my grandparents and parents have been living, um, let's suppose that I'm expecting that I am going to live an additional 25 years after retirement. Well, after I retire, I am not going to be having any more income. So I'm not going to put any more money into my retirement account. Once I hit retirement, I'm going to start taking regular withdrawals out of my account. Um, and so I would like to withdraw a particular amount of money. Now this is kind of where some of your guessing comes in and um, doing a little bit of research. Let's suppose that based on my lifestyle and my expectations of what I'd like to be doing and how much I've paid off in terms of my house and all of that, let's suppose that I decide that I need $2,000 a month to cover expenses after I retire. And I'm hoping to live for 25 years. So my question is, how much should I save now so that I can take out $2,000 a month for 25 years later? Well, all right. This seems like a two-part question, and in fact it is. Here, if you notice, I'm taking money out. Um, and I'm taking money out in repeated intervals. So for this part of the problem, I'm using a payout annuity. Because I'm going to start with however much money I have in retirement, and I'm going to pull out $2,000 a month for 25 years. This part of the problem, what I'm having is I'm having a savings annuity. Because while I'm working, I'm being able to, I'm trying to take money out of my paycheck to save, and I'm building up my retirement account. So for the first, when you're doing retirement planning, we actually end up needing to use both the savings annuity formula and the payout annuity formula in order to solve the problem. So I actually have kind of a double step issue problem here. Now, in both of these, what I'm hoping is that I have some sort of an account going on that's continuing to earn interest. During the savings annuity portion of it, Whatever I contribute is earning interest and continuing to grow until I retire. Then once I retire, I still would like that, say, that account to continue to earn interest, but I know that the amount of interest that I continue to earn as time goes on will decrease as I take more and mo more money out of the retirement account. So that's the plan. Now, in general, of course, because with retirement we can do, it's because it's such long-term planning, um, we often can find... Um, Th make things that are a little bit riskier but that pay off in the long run. And so like a, where a traditional savings account only earns you usually 3% interest, uh, a lot of times with retirement accounts we can find things that earn about 7% interest. Now keep in mind this is averaged over a long time. Um, so for example, um, our next door neighbors f uh, had to keep working for an additional five years because their account, retirement account, percentage didn't stay constant, obviously, with the turn of the economy, and they lost a lot of money. So um, this is just an average, but we got to have something so that we can try to figure out our planning. So we're just going to assume that standards are going to hold in terms of long-term viability, and I can have an account that is actually going to earn 7% interest um, compounded monthly because I'm dealing with monthly withdrawals. So seems like I don't really have enough information here, right? For the savings annuity, we want to use the savings annuity formula. So for the part where I'm working and saving money, um, I am going to use the formula here that says that the balance of my account 
is going to be how much money I'm saving times 1 plus r divided by k to the nk minus 1 divided by r over k. Now, this is for the savings annuity part. I do not know how much money I'm going to have in that retirement account. All right, that's what this is. What's the balance at the end of my working for 30 years? I also don't know this. D is what I'm actually, this D is what I'm actually trying to figure out, right? What I'm trying to figure out is how much money do I have to put into savings every month in order to retire here? So I don't know the balance here, and I don't know D. I do know everything else, right? In this particular case, I know that the rate is the 7%, the K is the monthly, so is 12, um, and my capital N for the savings part, so this is the savings annuity part, um, is 30 years because I'm going to be working for 30 more years before I retire. So at this point, the problem is I don't have enough information to do all of this because I don't know what the um, amount is in my account at the end but I, because I don't know how much money I'm putting in. So let's go then and look at the payout annuity part of this. Now with the payout annuity part, I'm going to use the payout annuity formula, which is this one. And the payout annuity formula says that when I start, then I can take out D amount, which times by 1 minus 1 plus R divided by K to the negative NK parentheses divided by R divided by K. So this is my payout annuity. Now in terms of the payout annuity, there are some things that I know. I know that I would like to withdraw $2,000 a month, so that's going to be my value for D. And I know that my account is earning 7% interest over averaged out and that I'm doing things compounding monthly. Um, remember to take that to a negative power in terms of paying out, I expect to live 25 years, so I'm going to have 25 up here times by k, which is 12, and again, I highly recommend putting those exponents in parentheses. Close the parentheses for the top, and all divided by 0 0.07 over 12. Ah, 12. What I'm, when I do all of this, what's going to happen is I'm going to figure out how much money I had to start with. So to get to take out $2,000 a month for the next 25 years, how much money do I need in that retirement account? The advantage of this is however much I need in my retirement account to start my withdrawal is going to be how much I want in my retirement account at the end of all of my savings process. So whatever I get for P0 here, the starting amount of my payout loans, is going to be the P n here, which is the balance of my account after saving up all of my money during my working life. So let's go ahead and evaluate this using the calculator. We, and again, be super careful with your parentheses applications. Um, so I start out with $2,000 a month for my payment, not $20,000. That's a little excessive. Um, parentheses 1 minus parentheses 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 12 close the parentheses, take it to the power, so use the caret button, parentheses, negative 25 times 12. Close the parentheses for the exponent, bring it back to the main level if necessary, close the parentheses for the numerator, and then divide by parentheses 0 0.07 over 12. And when I hit my enter key there, what I realize is that in order to have this sort of fabulous retirement, I need to have $282,973.81 in my retirement account so that I'll be able to make those kinds of withdrawals for the rest of my life. So if this is how much I want to end up with, when I come over here, that is how much money I need to have in savings when I'm done working. So this becomes my PN number. Um, 
at the end of my 30 years of working, I want to have $282,973.81 in my account. D is what I'm looking for. I'm see, trying to find out how much money do I have to save every month for 30 years in order to retire with this at this level of value. Um, so use your double parentheses, 1 plus R. Um, again, it's the same savings account both before and after retirement, so still 7% still compounding monthly. Um, the difference up here, my capital N, um, in the savings portion of it, I'm still working for 30 years. So in the exponent, it's going to be 30 times 12 up here, minus 1, close the parentheses, and then all divided by the 0 0.07 over 12. Um, so keep in mind this number up here. And notice that with the savings, that N value is positive. With the payout, that N value is negative, And that's really important in your evaluations as well. Now, when I go to solve this, notice I want D by itself. So I'm going to evaluate everything here on the calculator first and then solve my equation. Um, when I go to do that, remember it starts with a double parentheses. That's important. Um, times 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 12. Close the parentheses. Hit the caret button for the exponent, then put the exponent in parentheses, and I have 30 times 12, and close the parentheses. If you have this new style calculator, you need to hit the arrow key to bring it back down. Otherwise, just go into minus 1, and then close the parentheses for the numerator. Then divide by, and then in parentheses, 0 0.07 over 12. And what I get is everything in that big box here comes out to be this 1,219 value. So what this says, 282,973.81 is equal to D times 1,219.97, blah, blah, blah. So divide by that 1,219 number that we just calculated. Um, we take that original amount of how much I need to retire, so 282.973.81, divide it by that last answer that I just got there. Oops, didn't hit the blue button, I guess. There we go, that last answer. And I come up with, I need to put $231.95 every month into my savings account for 30 years, and at the end, I will have enough money that I can take out $2,000 a month for 25 years. And that is the power of interest and regular savings and planning. And the payoff is that you have that regular income and you can survive whatever mess Social Security is going to be when you get older. Um, so anyway, here you can kind of see how we can use those formulas in conjunction in order to solve some really interesting sorts of problems. And um, you can do the same sort of idea about if you want to save up for a car loan and then paying it off, um, all sorts of things that can work towards your advantage to do. But I really like this um, retirement planning example. I think it works really great. Uh, anyway, give those last couple problems a whirl. If you have any questions, throw them up on the discussion boards. And when you're done, you are done. This is your last homework assignment for Math 107. Um, once you're done with all this, get ready to go ahead and take that Unit 4 quiz. Um, and then you'll have a little financial planning mini project that you'll need to do. And one last proctored exam before, before we finish up the quarter. So anyway, good luck. and. See you on the discussion boards if you need it.